uh, traditional beer, which is from Millis and combination of Millis and and uh, Amazimba and another all of, from the grains. When we make that traditional beer, we've got to use a strainer to, to, to sort of okay. That's understood, yeah? mm -hmm. This is the type of strainer we don't buy strainer from the shop. You put your know, nose and then and then you squeeze, squeeze, and the beer comes out uh, mm -hmm. nice and be ready for being. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, this is something that belong came from the olden days. So things are changing now, and as a result, our kids don't know how we grew up, and uh, they don't know the, the, the ethnic things that they use this as a decoration, not for 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 for, for what it is supposed to be. So, in most cases, you get people who have got the know-how of how to do this from the rural, rural people. Not for, from the rural areas that are around town, no. From those rural people. And people who have learnt this from their grandparents. that interest you. It's too difficult. How can you do this? That's what they usually say. Oh, it's too much. I, I, I can't do this. Yeah, you know. <laughs> and the people who belong to this have got that interest in doing it. They do. it's, it's a hobby to them. Women do this. Mm -hmm. the, the men do the carving of pipes. Mm -hmm. yeah. I would say it was more of a hobby because when she had nothing to do, mm -hmm. she resting, she did this. It's a hobby. Mm -hmm. How yeah. long would it take to make a strainer? A strainer, I think it would take about a week. It's done? No, I don't know. I don't know. But to use a special type of grass that uh, 